Hey guys, Mystic Turtle here. Uh, just one thing real quick, if you haven't already done so, I put a lot of work into these uh, videos and uh, it'd be awesome uh, for a little bit of help out there. Uh, hit that subscribe button so that way you can catch that uh, next video as it comes out, as well as um, anytime that I go live. And then uh, also the like button, that uh, helps out a great deal. Fantastic help there. And it's free. So um, thank you. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another Real Bedrock episode. This is Mystic Turtle. I will be covering this with you. Um, so we've got, I've gotten a lot of requests for an XP machine. Uh, personally, I recommend doing a super smelter, throw your ores in it. Um, I would recommend with that um, also having a... Um, auto sorting system so only certain items will go into a section and that way it doesn't clog it up and you only get five or six pieces smelted you know all that fun stuff um but this one here will work too uh kelp does not give you a ton of xp but this is a super fast system whether you're looking for xp or let's say you're on a big server and you want to supply fuel sources to everybody in town this is you can't extend this out um i would recommend throwing a repeater in there and you know extend out that way um that way you're not stretching your redstone or maybe building a couple of these um so that's that I did make a couple simple modifications. If you watch the last video on the two bay system, you will see the slight modifications that I made for this one. So don't forget to check that out. If you are limited on space, uh, by all means build the two bay, but if you got a lot of space, go with this system or you could probably go another round. No, no, that wouldn't work with the way the switch is down below. Uh, but I do have this set up so that way you can uh, uh, pull XP a lot quicker. And I do want to point out is when you go in here, so these 12 are, are supplying both of these. I can go in here, pull this piece of kelp out here. I'm going to get all the XP for that and everything that's in this chest. Go to the next one, next one, next one, next one. So you do all six. Once you've done that, pull everything out of here. All right, craft them into blocks and then start the process over. All right, same thing on the back side. Now you're like, but I can't, I can't get any XP because uh, it goes through too quick. That's fine. Come over here, hit the switch. This runs a set of redstone, and it locks everything. Okay, so you now you can come in here and pull it out and get all your XP. All right, now. Another issue that I ran into is I, I get people saying all the time, um, my, my, it's not going into my, my chest or it's not going into my smelter properly. So I did move this guy over one. This is your clock. So what a lot of people is doing is setting this right dab smack right next to it here instead of coming out one more spot. And uh, actually, yeah. Um, and it was locking the hopper or they were not putting the hopper here, but they were putting the chest right there. So it was locking it all. So we just brought this over one spot. That's why we're on an eight by eight build. Uh, so eight deep, eight wide. And then if you want to build um, a building around it, you know, just add an extra block to that on each side. All right, so let's get into the build of this because this is actually super easy to build, okay? And these are the items that you're going to need for this uh, this guy. So grab you a stack of whatever building block you want. doesn't matter. Um, you can mix and match uh, whatever you like. And now we're going to get into the rest of the system. So we're going to go with six sticky pistons, 12 sand, six regular pistons, 12 smokers, uh, we want six buttons, six pieces of glass, six trap doors, and I did not get the number of hoppers, so we got six here, so that's going to be 12 down there, another set here, so that's 24, 
and and a 12 that's 36 plus 6 so that's going to be 40 hoppers for this exact build again that is 40 hoppers uh so do get get a lot of a lot of um iron there i'd recommend building uh, my iron farm um yeah so check that out now redstone wise we're going to use two levers one redstone repeater uh we want um four redstone torches you're going to use about a half a stack a little over half a stack of redstone dust so just grab a stack and bring it uh i have 16 chests <clears throat> um you're gonna get some um fuel source so whatever that is whether it's to get it primed you know whether you're using coal or charcoal or whatever doesn't matter um two water buckets and uh six pieces of kelp at minimum i recommend a lecture in case you need to fix it and then oh yeah always a barrel that way it's different from all the other storage storage and you can throw the excess stuff into that barrel all right so let's get into this build real quick here now again like i said this does run xp for you so all right we're going to start off with uh getting our stuff first um so let me Let's see here we're gonna go chess hoppers um we have our redstone stuff we're going to get these guys our building material yeah we're gonna get everything over here but you know and then we'll come back for the water later all right so we're gonna start off we're gonna place two chests down or two double chests just like this now coming off of that we're going to go we're going to sneak and crouch and we're going to play six hoppers all leading into one chest one two three four five and six we're going to turn around come back to the same thing one two three four five and six now once we got that we want to take a, a row of stone or whatever your building material is let's come around this all right and then this is just to get it set up so we're going right here now coming off of this edge here so we're going to go one spot out and one in okay we're going to build up three so one spot out we're not right up on it all right so one two and three break the bottom two Coming off of that, we're going to go one up, one over, one over this way, break the center. And we want to come down like this and break that. This is going to be our clock setup. Now, the reason why I did it like this is so we're going to put our lever there, a redstone torch on the bottom, our repeater there, and we need this bottom one for our redstone. Okay, now as you see, it's starting to blink, so it is working. We're going to lock that down. All right, now, if you remember from the other video, we're going to come one, two. Now, off that second, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to do the turn around and do the same thing here. So we're going to come back to two spots. We're going to do a double wide. Right, just like that. And that's going to give us our base for the top system. All right. Now, we're going to place our sticky pistons. So they're facing this way. And we can get rid of the sticky pistons. Let's grab our red or our, um, sand real quick. Bring that across. Now, we need to get power to this so we can get our next row of sand on. So what we're going to do is just like here. We're going to extend this out and bring it up. So we're going to stagger step it up. And you can stagger it right there or bring it over and bring it like this. It, it's entirely up to you. Let's go ahead and add our redstone in real quick. And bring it across real quick. As you can see, that sticks out. And then let's go ahead and drop our sand on the system. And there we go. Now, 
we're going to turn around and we're going to encase the whole thing so just like this and like this let's come one out so we're just on the edge there so three on the side you look at that way or eight across the back and then two out now coming off of this down here so since we've got that we're gonna go back we're gonna set our smokers in place so we're gonna start here and just come down don't forget to sneak and crouch come around to the back side and we're gonna do the same thing place all those there and we're gonna start with our hoppers and we're gonna drop them so that way that the nipple goes straight down so we're dropping everything in there and just like that and then we're gonna do the same thing here and boom once we got that let's jump up and drop a double chest in this way and so that's what that's going to do is that's as each of these bays drops cult it's going to automatically filter into the box and let's say you left it running for quite a while these these boxes and the hoppers will all fill up really quick all right now coming off the back side here now it's entirely up to you you can set this hopper up top like this but i like to set it down like this so that way i can actually get up here and stand so we're going to drop each one of these in and you're shifting clicking so that way the nipple goes into the chest all right and then we're going to turn around and we're going to put so it feeds down like this all right and then we're going to go back up up here sneak crouch and we want so that the nipple goes into those hoppers so each one of these bays are going to feed each slice of chest once you have that let's go one high here on this and then we're going to grab our regular piston and we're going to bring the regular pistons across so it looks just like that now just in the like the other video we want to go three up one two three one two three and then these guys here add to it to your three high and there we go and there we go nope not not that high then you want to turn around and make your brace across the top come all the way across like that now i like using buttons you can put glass down and then you just have to climb all the way to the top um, entirely up to you how you want to do it so I am going to place a button down right there after I sneak and crouch so this is going to allow the water to flow forward so I don't have excess stuff hanging up top and all of our kelp will actually physically make it down now the next step is let's drop in the glass and easiest way is to point to the ceiling and drop it in and right, now come up top remember the what i showed you earlier with the trap doors so we want the trap doors to go down below just like that you do not want them up top and you do not want them fl flopping up that way when i click on it it should flop up against the back wall all right so we're pretty much done in that aspect let's finish up some of our redstone here so we come across the back now soft light or torch into the side that soft lights this box or gives it power i'll put another one here and you see that torch went out this one lit up we're going to turn around and put another block on top of that and then right on top of that block we're going to put one there and we want to put another block above that okay now we're going to turn around and we're going to put a load of blocks across the back here and six pieces of redstone here and then six pieces of redstone across the top all right so this is the whole system in a nutshell i come over here and i flip this on both tops and shifting system is physically working um let's grab our water so let's go back down here and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff here uh we don't need that don't need that any of that 
done with the chess that, that's pretty much almost everything is done so these two pieces of water I'll come over here make you a source block for water so one two three we'll put one to the left and one to the right they'll create our infinite water source or you can break out four blocks one two three four put a water in this corner and a water in that corner it turns the whole thing into a source block so it's just a matter which whatever you want all right now uh we forgot our lever here and then our redstone dust coming across here we do not want to go into there redstone dust crops here and then across the back side so as we turn it on see it all lights up going all the way down there lights up goes all the way down there now that's where your xp farm comes in because you're going to click that on in order to stop from loading into the hoppers and the chest you can physically grab a piece of kelp out at that time instead of trying to guess where you have to click and then you're not getting it i sat there for like a day trying to do that and i literally only got it like six times so that was a lot of fun all right now we got that we got our water buckets we're going to come up here we're going to waterlog the back wall we'll do this in each bay don't come across like that because it's not going to give you what you need but each one of those just like that comes down and forward let's grab our kelp and we can get rid of that and we can get rid of that and now we got our kelp remember we only need six pieces and there we go and we turn it on system is starting to run let's give it a second and you see i do not have any kelp that's setting up top all gone down bottom will start filling up here so there we go and don't forget when you're collecting your xp you have it on both sides and you are ready and willing to go so that is it for this segment and don't forget to check out uh, the single slice storage units uh, with overflow protection. I will have that out in the next day or so. You can add that into a super smelting system and get a lot more XP as you smelt your ores or your food or anything else. And you just drop everything right into one spot and it runs it for you. Build this and you got an unlimited supply of XP as well as an unlimited supply of fuel all right so everything is shut down over here so let's kick this guy back on one time so we're going to lock this go here get a couple pieces to drop down and there we go now As you can see, I have nine pieces of XP here. Um, we are, I'm going to go kill myself purposely. And I will be right back. Go over here. So I'm going up pretty high here. So you can see me as I drop. Yeah, I think this should do it. Here I go. Boom. I'm dead. Alright. Uh, we're going to respawn. And as you see, I have zero. That is zero XP. Get back over here where our stuff is in fact my xp is over there it's probably only like one or two all right so we've got roughly about a half a chest of smelted so we're going to come in here we're going to go to the first one which only has four pieces you see i'm already at three this one here i'm at four this one here i'm at six 
I've got eight there, nine there, ten there, and twelve there. Now this would be going a lot higher if I had full chest, and if both of them were completely full, but they're not. So we got this, uh, we've got 16 levels here, so we would have 30 levels if we had let that guy run the entire course. Now I'm going to flip this guy off. I'm going to let all that drain out of the, well, yeah, duh. Okay, that's already done. Let's kick this back, guy back on. We should get like one or two items here. Now I just want to prove a point. Look at where I'm at here. I'm at 16, about halfway there. All right. The glitch that they had for the chess is done mojang got rid of it so it used to be you'd have a bunch of stuff in the chest and you could come over here cook an item or two and get all the xp that was in the chest as well as what just cooked but as you can see that has gone away so this is going to be probably your fastest way if you like to just you know, go AFK, let it all cook up, and you're good. You're fine to go. If you don't like waiting, um, you can run around in the nether, um, collecting XP off quartz, off of coal, um, build a mob farm. Yes, I said build a mob farm. Uh, you get all kinds of loot as well as you get a lot of XP out of it. I do have a couple different versions, uh, early game and then more closer to mid to end game as you get a lot more material. And uh, I will show you that. Don't forget to check out the Trident Killers. I released a video that has three different versions of a Trident Killer. One of them is actually the coolest thing I've ever seen and it is not my design. So have a wonderful day. I will catch you next time.